Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to, uh, before we actually go into your uh, Microsoft Outlook and configure Outlook to receive your mail from Gmail, the first thing you want to do is go into Gmail and you need to uh, set some configurations in Gmail which isn't set by default. So go ahead and sign into your Gmail account and then we're going to click on settings which is up here. Now you can't hardly see that in my screen but uh, click on settings and that should take you into uh, your or your Gmail page. Okay and then what you want to do is we have a, uh, a tab here that's called forwarding and POP mail. And what you want to do is make sure you check off uh, that you want POP to be downloaded uh, and make sure that it's enabled. Okay. Uh, so my status right now is that my POP is enabled. That's because I get my email on my, uh, my Palm Pre phone. Okay, so for now on it says here, enable uh, email, uh, enable POP for mail that arrives from now on, and that's where mine is set. So I did check that off already. So you want to make sure that's checked off. And you can also set these preferences here to keep your mail copy in the inbox on your uh, Gmail account or, or so forth. Okay, and then go ahead and save your settings. Once you have done that, uh, you should be able to, oh, you want to also enable IMAP here. Okay, once you have done that, uh, then we want to go into our Microsoft Outlook and set up uh, Microsoft Outlook. Again, when Outlook first comes up, Outlook is uh, going to prompt you to go ahead and set up your account. Uh, but we, it was necessary that we go in first to set up uh, Gmail so that when uh, we are done with Outlook Express your mail begins to be delivered and you know that it's uh, working properly. Alright so let's go ahead into our Microsoft Outlook and uh, if you haven't had that launched yet go ahead and launch that and what we're going to do is we're going to enable uh, Outlook to receive mail so let's go ahead into accounts so we go to tools, accounts, and we want to add an account. We want to add a mail account, and uh, what do we want to call that name? Well, let's call this uh, my district elders account. Okay, and this is where I will get all my mail as a district elder. So with Outlook Express or Outlook any mail client you can set it up to receive multiple uh, email from different sources so you can have multiple accounts alright so this one is coming from District Elder William King so let me uh, set this up let's see District Okay, so that's going. That's a uh, email address is District Elder William King, uh, gmail.com. I hit next. Now, uh, how is this mail coming in? Well, we want to set this up to receive mail from POP, and we want to make the POP server or POP server pop.gmail.com and SMTP. We want to make it SMTP gmail.com. Let's hit next. All right, next is asking you for login information. Now we just put in an account name, but let's put at gmail.com on the end and go ahead and put your password in and tell it to remember that and hit next. Okay, and it says, Congratulations, you're finished, but we're actually not finished yet. Okay, go ahead and hit finish and let's go ahead and highlight the account we just created and let's go into uh, our advanced button. Okay, uh, let's 
see. Where's the advanced tab? Hmm. Let's click properties. There's our advanced tab. Okay. And so what we want to do is uh, you can configure additional things here. Let's go ahead and put a reply email address. You can put a different reply uh, email address in there if you like. Let's go to advanced tab. And this is where we want to set up our ports for SMTP and how we want that to connect. So let's make this uh, 465. We want to make that secure. And let's make this 995. And we want to use secure as well. Okay. Now that you've got that configured, you should be able to go into your server settings and your tab and make sure all that is correct. Okay, you got your password. Uh, let's check off outgoing email to be my server requires authentication, which Gmail does. Uh, click OK and click close and you should be all set. Now, let's hit send receive and see if we get mail. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got mail. So that ends this tutorial on setting Microsoft Outlook Express to receive Gmail. All right.